Hi. In this problem, the motor winds in the cable. So this is the motor right here. In the cable with a constant acceleration. So here we're dealing with constant acceleration. Such that the 20 kilogram crate moves a distance of 6 meters in 3 seconds. Starting from rest. Determine the tension developed in the cable. So we want to know the tension that developed in this cable. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the plane is 0.3. It's a good practice to write down what is given. So here we are told that we are dealing with constant acceleration. A sub C. So that tells us that we can use constant acceleration equations to find, uh, you know, acceleration or or other uh, or velocity or this or displacement. And the, here we're dealing with mass. So the mass that. So the mass that we're dealing with is equal to, twenty kilogram. Uh, move it so. S as a function of time, so S at 3 seconds is equal to 6 meter. Or we can think of it as S final is 6 meter. And the time is equal 3 second. Start from rest. Start from rest meaning the velocity initial is equal to 0. And S initial is also equal to 0. And the coefficient between the crate and the plane is 0.3 so that tell, tells us there is a friction between them so so we need to count for friction all right so here what we will do is we will draw the free body diagram so here we we will we have our incline at a 30 degree and here we have our horizontal x axis parallel to the plane and the y axis perpendicular to the plane and we represent the crate as this red dot or, or the center of gravity of this uh, crate as a particle. So first thing uh, we want to count for is the mass times gravity and we can uh, add the mass times gravity into two components, its vertical component and its horizontal component. And this angle is theta just like this one 30 degree. So this is 30 degree. This right here, since it's adjacent to the angle theta, so it will be mass times gravity, cosine theta. And since this is opposite to the angle, so it will be mass times gravity times sine theta. And this will be your mass times gravity. And since the crate is on the plane, the, the surface plane will uh, apply, uh, will generate a force, or a neutral force on the crate. We are told that we have a friction coefficient, so that mean, and, and 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 we know that the the particle is moving to the to the right, up. So the friction will oppose the movement, and here the tension in the cable is the force that is used to pull the crate up the hill or up this incline. So next, what we will do is we want to sum the forces in the y direction and the sum the forces in the x direction. Uh, summing the forces in the y direction, as we can see, there is no movement in the y direction. So let's do that. So here, oh, uh, going up is positive. Sum of the forces in the y direction equal to zero so the we have n and then we have minus mass times gravity times cosine theta equal to zero so now to n and move this to the other side mass times gravity times cosine theta so n will equal to what the mass is given to us as uh, 20 kilogram 
and the gravity is 9.81 times cosine 30 degree so let's so 20 times 9.81 times cosine 30 so it give me 169.9 so I'm just gonna say 170 all right so now we there is a relationship between the normal force and friction because force due to friction is equal to mu k times m so mu k is given to us as 0 0.3 times and the normal we found it to be 170 so that will equal to what so the, the so we said 170 times 0.3 give me 51 newton all right so now next we will add up the for the external forces applied on the ma uh, applied on the mass uh, in the x direction so here so here on the side plus sum of the forces in the x direction equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction so going to the right is positive so here we have the tension in the cable that is pulling the crate minus the mass times the gravity the horizontal component of the weight of the crate mass times gravity times sine theta and the force of the friction we found it to be 51 newton equal to the mass of the crate is, we said is 20 acceleration in the x direction we can simplify this more so we know that mass here is 20 this is 9.81 and this is sine 30 so let's plug this into our calculator so it's 20 times 9.81 times sine 30 it will give us 98.1 98.1 minus 51 newton equal to 20 ax we can simplify it more t will be minus 98.1 minus 51 it will give us minus 149.1 equal to 20 a sub x all right so right here what what is our goal our goal here is to find what is t but here we we cannot find a sub x so since we are told that we are dealing with uh, constant acceleration acceleration equal constant then we can use these equations right here uh, these are constant acceleration equations so we can use these equations to find our acceleration in the x direction so let so what do we so what do we have so from what is given to us that the final position is 6 the initial acceleration uh, initial velocity is 0 initial position is 0 and time is 3 seconds okay so let's let's take a look at the first equation and see if it works so here it deals with final velocity we don't have final velocity so, so the first one won't work uh, let's take a look at the second one the second one we have we have the final which is six meters initial is zero the v initial is also zero and uh, one half and t is three seconds so so we can use this equation to solve for acceleration but, but let's take a look at the third and the fourth one the third one also involves final velocity we don't have it and the fourth one also involves the, the final velocity which we don't have it so the best fit is to use the second equation so second equation is the correct one to use so let's plug in the given values that we have so the s final is six meter equal to s initial is zero <clears throat> the initial velocity is also zero zero times time is zero plus one half a constant and the time here we said is three squared so six equal to one half 
so that will give you 4.5 a sub c so a sub c will equal to 6 divided by 4.5 so accelerate constant acceleration will be so 6 divided by 4.5 is 1.33 so this will be 1.33 meter per second squared so now what we can do is we can take this constant acceleration and plug it in here and that should give us the tension so tension so what we will do is it will be minus 149.1 equal to 20 times 1.33 you know what? We can simplify this. So it will be T, and this will move to the other side of the equation. It will be plus 149.1. All right, 20 times 1.33 time, no, plus 150. 149.1 so that will give us t equal to 175.7 newton so now we were able to find the tension in the cable that is pulling the crate up the uh, incline